Welcome back YouTube, Seraphin here, bringing you a long-awaited update on my 20 gallon long cell water nano tank. I'm really excited to give you guys a closer look at this tank, because over the last few months there's been some changes, and the new coral has grown and it's doing really well. All the fish are really healthy, and I'm happy to say this tank is the most stable it's ever been since I originally set it up over a year ago. As a result, within the last few weeks, the coral has grown and flourished. Here's a look at the tank back in January. You can really see through the comparison how well the zoas and green leather coral are thriving. What really helped these corals grow was getting the salinity back within normal range. My nano has always run high in salinity, but too high and I noticed the coral really stunted. Getting the salinity down to a regular level took a few water changes, but the entire system responded really positively. I don't actually add any chemicals or nutrients to this low-tech system, which probably explains why the soft corals are doing so well, since they prefer dirtier water, for lack of a better term. In the future, I'm considering expanding this nano to a real-sized aquarium, but first I'm going to have to upgrade my lighting system from the Orbit Marine LED since it's a relatively low-powered light. I hope you guys enjoyed the update on my 20 gallon long saltwater nano tank. Of course I love reading all of your comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also check out my channel for weekly fish videos, reviews, contests, and more. Thanks for watching!